Ladies and gentlemen, it is football time in Texas. Two backs in the backfield. Cooper Jones is going to try to carry it for a first down, and he does. He runs over four, five, six defenders on his way to the 30-yard line. Cooper Jones with a big first down. 25-yard attempt from the right hash. The kick is up right down the middle and good. Welcome to varsity. How Bulldogs, Jonathan Garcia. Three to nothing, the How Bulldogs lead early. Honey Grove's about to get the football. It's a high pooch kick, going to be taken. It actually bounces and goes the other way. This could actually be trouble as Morris picks it up. Coming near side, he's gang tackled by Bryce Crosby. And How says they have the football. How has the football. And they have it deep in Warrior territory inside the 15-yard line. Morris wanted to throw it. Now he's going to tuck it and keep it, and he's got a lot of room. 30, look out. He's gone. 15, 10, 5. So much speed from Ryland Morris. And he scores on a 47-yard touchdown run. Three-step drop down the middle of the field, and that's going to be caught by Ulmer at the 40-yard line on the Honey Grove side of the field. A great leaping grab. Haley gets it, handoff Rattler, trying to stretch it out to the left side, breaks two tackles, and he's going to spin his way out of another tackle, still going inside the 20 to the 15-yard line. What a run by Antoine Rattler. What a first quarter it was. Howe has really dominated the whole entire quarter except for really one play, but that play was a big one. Ball in the middle of the field, first down and 10 for the Bulldogs. Two backs in the backfield. Handoff, no, Haley's going to keep it up the middle. He's in. It's touchdown time in Texas. Austin Haley, who usually does it with his arm, does it with his feet right up the middle. And Howe takes the lead. Howe with a 10-7 lead at Warrior Stadium with 11.20 left to go in the second quarter. Snap is back. Morrison rolls out right, looking down the field. Swatted away by Brass Crosby right in his face. A huge play by the Bulldogs. It's a completely different atmosphere. Like I, I, The only way I can say it's it was one way last year, and it is 180 degrees dip. Two receivers either side. Ryler Moore is going to keep it over left tackle. Right through the middle, being chased down by Crosby. Makes a move and breaks the tackle. Now on the far side, breaks that tackle. Down at the 31-yard line. He is electric and special. Man, he is feeling it, and that kid is only a freshman. My gosh. That's going to be the end of the first half. How Bulldogs, how fans. You got to be happy with this when you're taking a lead into the half. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Here's a pass down the field. Knocked away by Austin Haley. He went up, skied for it, got his left paw on the ball and knocked it away. It was a fluger. Morrison's going to do it himself. He stopped. Hit by Tank Turner and brought down. It's fourth down. Staying in at quarterback, handoff, ball's on the turf. It's rolling around. Howe had it for a moment. I believe they do have it. Howe has the football on a fumble. That's the turnover you needed, and Howe's going to have to separate at some point. You know, this is where you learn how to win football games. you got to score right here in order to figure out how to win. It's been so long, but a drive right here can really set you up and change the tone of this thing. Haley, handoff, Rattler coming near side. He's got some room, shakes a defender. He's making another move up near the 40-yard line at the 38, a 10-yard run by Rattler. Handoff, Rattler near side. McCollum out in front of him, and Rattler just barrels over a defender and goes Superman at the 32-yard line. First down. He had a big body of B-R-O-D-Y right out in front of him. Howe's going to take a lead into the fourth quarter. It's been a while. They did that a few times last year. Couldn't prevail. We'll see if they can do it tonight. Howe's in the middle of a 10-play drive. It started on their own 29-yard line. Haley in the gun. He's going to try to run it. And he runs over right side, runs right behind his shoulder pads for a first down. And I tell you what, the running of Austin Haley might be the story tonight. I think it has to be the story tonight. And Haley rolls out left, looking in the end zone, flushed out of the pocket under pressure. Now rolling right, throwing it in the end zone, and up and caught in the middle of the end zone in the back corner. It's Cooper Jones, and it's touchdown time in Texas. 9.46, and Howe extends their lead. 16-7, awaiting the PAT. That was all Austin Haley. Rolled to his left, saw nobody, rolled to his right and just lofted at the very corner of the end zone.
Garcia banks it through for the PAT. It's 17 to seven. How in the lead with 9.46 left to go in the game. 13 plays, 71 yards. And it took dang near a quarter off the clock. Man in motion is Murphy from left to right. He gets it on the jet sweep, coming near side, looking for a block. Riding right behind Daniels, and he gets a good run right behind the moose. Hey, if I were calling Murphy, I'd be hiding behind Daniels too. <laughs> no kidding. Hand off Daniels, right up the middle. He has a big seam. He runs over a defender, pushes him out of the way at the 30. They're feeling it. They're starting to feel it right now. I feel the monkey it, crawling it, down a little it's, bit. It's getting off. They're feeling it now. They're starting to get. I, there, there may be a, the monkey toe may be on the ground. And it'll be spotted at the 15, which makes a 25-yard field goal attempt. It's on the tee. Garcia's kick is going to be up, and it is good. Garcia nails it. He's perfect so far in 2022. Can the Bulldogs be? They're a minute 30 away with a 20-7 lead. Morrison in at quarterback, sends Morris in motion, and he wants to throw the home run ball deep down the field. Haley makes a great play. No, it falls into the arms of his receiver. Touchdown, Honey Grove, on a 43-yard strike from Morrison. Swinging gate, they're going to go for two. The pitch out to Morris, and that's easy. He can just walk it in on the corner. Yeah, bro. Smokey is off the back. All toes are on the ground. 22 stops in 22. The victory line is coming on downtown. And the Howl Bulldogs are jumping all over themselves. It's been a long time, baby. But the monkey paws are on the ground. And all smiles from head coach Lance Brown. He gets a big hug from his defensive coordinator, Andrew Harvey, as together those two might be the story of the game. The last time they won a game, gas was $2 a gallon and a house was affordable. <laughs> That's how long it's been, guys. That's how long it's been. Obviously, the Bulldogs are very excited. They're making a victory lap wow. in front of the crowd. It's one of the one of the best moments of my coaching career, bar none, like most definitely. That was a, you know, it was a great game, really excited, really happy for these kids. They, they deserved it, and uh, it just feels good. But, you know, we've, we've just got our guys playing really hard, and, and you know, they're bought into what we're doing, and, and they're seeing the results, and, you know, they finally got that W. They, they deserved it, and uh, they, they did everything we asked, and they got, a, they got the dub tonight. What are you going to tell them in the locker room? Oh, my gosh. Light it up. That's all that matters. Our defense has never looked this good in my three years of playing here. And we stepped it up tonight. We did what we needed to do. We were coached what we needed to do. We obviously made some mistakes, but man, we got the job done. That's all that matters. It's a victory. We played a complete game and we came out on top and that's how it, how it rolls if you play hard and work your butt off every single play. Moments ago, your head coach turned on the victory light in downtown. How's that feel? Feels amazing, amazing, amazing.